Hello everyone, and in this video, I am going to be going over simple callbacks. Okay, so basically what a callback is, it's something GLFW can look forward to. I was messing around with it here, and as you can see, if an error goes on within GLFW, it would immediately call a function that we have set for that callback and we'll handle it how exactly like we want as seen in the console here okay so in order to get started I'm going to create a public static void set callbacks and this will be called before we initialize GLFW because anything can go wrong. Okay. So let's set GLFW set error callback. This is the first callback we will use. And it's going it's asking for a GLFW error callback. LWJGL has one preset for us. But we'll just create a new one. Now it's going to give us an error when we import this. And it's going to say cannot instantiate the type glfw error callback. So we're going to add curly brackets right after glfw error callback. And it's also going to give us one more error. And it must have implemented the inherited abstract methods. So if you're using Eclipse, you can go ahead, put your mouse over it, and click the button Add Unimplemented Methods. And that should fix the error for you. Okay, now. If you didn't have the Java Doc set up, I didn't say how to do this because it's not really necessary. You can just search up a function that you need to know on the internet. Anyways, these values, these variables right here are not going to be named. As you can see. So I'm just going to tell you exactly what they are. So the int arg0 is the error code. This is the code glfw will be sending to this method here so we can handle it ourselves. But for this tutorial we're not going to be using this and instead we're going to be using long arg1 and this is actually the description. This is a pointer value to a string. Quite weird how LWJGL sets this up. So what I can do now is inside this invoke method we'll have throw new illegal state exception and we can't really put anything in here. We can't use description well, we can, but it, it'll put numbers. Well, I'll show you real fast. So, real fast, I'll have that set up. And in the main method, real fast, go ahead and call the set callbacks at the top. And I'm going to comment this out real fast just to give out a false error real fast and when we run it it gives us this it gives it doesn't that that's not helpful at all and that's actually the pointer value to get the string so go ahead and get rid of that or if you didn't do that you're fine and instead, we'll put in glfw error callback dot get 
description and then we'll pass in the variable this will give us exactly the string we need it's going to give us a helpful string so we know exactly what went wrong so we can run it now and look at that the glfw library is not initialized of course the false error we've set up so now if we uncomment this we still get our full screen window so if we change any values for example if we change that to zero and then we run it then it'll give us an error invalid window size something quite helpful so overall these callbacks can be used for anything glfw has a bunch of different callbacks so if it'll show me no it won't show me okay so you don't have to do this I'm just seeing what other kind of callbacks there are we have cursor enter callback we have frame buffer size callback we got monitor callback we got window size callback key callback a bunch of helpful stuff that we can use so that's pretty much it for callbacks and I hope you enjoyed yeah I'm not sure what else there is need to know about callbacks anyways I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video